What's up guys and welcome back to another video on the SAT and this one is a bit time sensitive and it's all about the August SAT and in particular what to do if your August SAT is indeed cancelled. So first let's kind of jump back into exactly what's going on. Has the College Board cancelled the August SAT? No they have not. They are still going to offer the SAT and SAT subject test. Where the issues come in is if your individual test center itself has decided to cancel the test administration. This will in large part depend on the state mandates in each particular state. For example, California in large part has shut down the SAT. Most test centers that I'm aware of have indeed canceled the test administration. Test centers in other states, however, may not cancel the administration. Now, if you haven't yet heard from your test center about the test being canceled, it's probably good news, but there's one important caveat. The final day to notify students that the test center has been canceled is Monday, August 17th. This means that if it's August 18th and you've not heard from your test center, it's probably going to be administered, which is great news. Now, a lot of students have been asking me, what should they do if their test has indeed been canceled? Should I try and register in another state? travel and take it there? Should I wait until September? First of all, the College Board has said that they are going to waive the late registration fee for the August SAT, which is great news. Now we come to the question of whether you should try to register for a test an hour, two hours away, three hours away, so on and so forth, and actually try to travel to take that test. If you have been studying very diligently up to this point, you were really ready to take the August SAT, I think that if you can swing it, it's a great idea to try and make it happen, and here's why. Test administrations in September, October, November, December hopefully will be there, but if they're not, if they get canceled again in your area and then you have to travel, now you're throwing on the added stress of schoolwork, of different obligations that may be there, which probably won't be there for the August administration. So again, if you can swing it, if you feel comfortable traveling a little bit farther out of the way, if you can handle that added stress and you believe it won't compromise your mental readiness and emotional stability, then I say go for it. If however you feel that that stress is just going to be too much, that you don't want to do that drive, it's going to be a big burden on you, I can see then a great justification to pass on this. But I can tell you from my personal students who have been preparing all summer, I would like to see them take the August SAT because right now is a beautiful time where we've been prepping super hard in the summer without distractions and this will go down before school begins. So I think it's a great opportunity to show what you can do on this test. If you haven't been preparing that much and you were really planning to pick it up in September, October, November, okay, then I see way less incentive to go out of your way to take this test. Now the question comes, will these later administrations actually happen in September, in October, in November, in December? That I really can't answer because so much is going to be depending on how the virus and the pandemic evolve. I'm feeling I'm feeling positive, I'm feeling optimistic that things are going to get better the farther away we get from the summer, but again, it's just conjecture. If you have any additional questions on this subject, make sure to leave them in the comments section below. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please click that like button, and if you want to see more from the Scalar Learning Channel, make sure to click subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.